All right. This is from Charlene in California. And Charlene says, I've heard you mention that you read 25 to 30 financial news slash media articles per day. Which financial news and media sources do you consider most informative and unbiased? I'm willing to pay for a subscription, but I wanted to ask your opinion first. So uh, on the bias thing, you know, every uh, everybody has some way they write a writing style. It doesn't necessarily equate to bias, but I actually read more than two dozen publications a day. In terms of financial, my first go-to is the Financial Times of London. It is what the Wall Street Journal used to be, a thorough, comprehensive, very well-written guide to business, industry, and finance. And it's the best source that's available to me every day. Unfortunately, it doesn't come out on Sundays. But the Financial Times is it. You can subscribe online only, or in some parts of the country, you can get the physical paper. I'm so obsessed with the FT that I get it both the physical paper and I have an online subscription. They're separate subscriptions. Um, Second, I do read the Wall Street Journal every day. I read Market Watch every day. I read Bloomberg every day. And then every Saturday, I read Barron's Magazine. For people that are into finance and investing, Barron's is the best financial publication that is in the marketplace. And so that is the core of my financial reading. Now, general reading, every day I read the uh, New York Times, Washington Post, L.A. Times, USA Today, um, Kansas City Star, the uh, Post-Intelligencer, the Orlando Sentinel, the Houston Chronicle, the Sun Sentinel paper from, uh, it's called the Florida Sun Sentinel now, the New York Post, the Dallas Morning News, the Detroit Free Press, and then uh, I read Kiplinger's news alerts every day and read that magazine every month. So that's kind of a, a, a overall picture of what I read in traditional publications. And then I read a lot of very pointy-headed, ultra-boring trade journals. So (laughs) I've always said I'm a very dull man, and I think I just proved it. 